Well, welcome to week six of God's Promises. Today, we're learning about how God promises to make us strong. Go grab some crayons, markers, and bubbles, and we'll meet you right back here. stuff. We hope you have all of yours too. So now it's time to have some fun with Church at Home. Yay! Hi friends, welcome to Church at Home. My name is Michelle and I'm so glad that you're joining us for our last week of God's Promises. Today, we will be learning that God promises to make us strong. God's love for us is amazing and that's why He has such great promises for us and God never breaks a promise. But before I tell you more about His promises to make us strong, I wanna sing a special song with you. It's a song that celebrates Jesus. He loves you so much and helps us remember that we can trust God and He's done incredible things for us. So let's sing now by standing up and singing I Believe in Jesus together. This song is called I Believe in Jesus. We're gonna all start with our hands up like this. You came from heaven you loved me you loved me gave up all you had you saved me you saved me your life was given you loved me you loved me so i live forever you saved me you saved me you Set me free. I believe in 
Jesus. I believe He came to say, I believe in Jesus Christ. Let's sing, I will trust. I will trust in Jesus. I live to follow Him. I will trust in Jesus Christ. All right, hands up like this. You came from heaven. You loved me. You loved me. Gave up all you had. You saved me. You saved me. Your life was given. You loved me. You loved me. So I live forever. You saved me. You saved me. You made a way for me. You came to set me free. I believe in Jesus. I believe He came to save. I believe in Jesus Christ. Sing out, I will trust. In Jesus, I live to follow Him. I will trust in Jesus Christ. All right, get ready to clap your hands. Clap, clap, clap if you feel it. Sing, sing, sing like you mean it. Clap, clap, clap if you feel it. I believe, I believe, I believe. Clap, clap, clap if you feel it. Sing, sing, sing like you mean it. Clap, clap, clap if you feel it. We hear ya. I believe, I believe, I believe. Clap, clap, clap if you feel it. Sing, sing, sing like you mean it. Clap, clap, clap if you feel it. Let me hear ya. I believe, I believe, I believe. Sing out, I believe in Jesus. Trust in Jesus. I will trust in Jesus. I live to follow Him. I will trust in Jesus Christ. All right, let's clap our hands. Here we go. Clap, clap, clap if you feel it. Sing, sing, sing like you mean it. Clap, clap, clap if sing you it feel out. it. I believe, I believe, I believe. Clap, clap, clap if you feel it. Sing, sing, sing. That was awesome. You can sit down now. That song was all about how we can trust and believe in Jesus. Jesus is God's son, and he showed us that God can be trusted to keep his promises, even his promise to make us strong. So let's say you have a bad day. Maybe someone wasn't very nice to you. God will help you to be strong to do what is right because he helps us to remember his promises and love for us. And you know what? That reminds me of a story a story that God promises to make us strong, and it comes straight out of this book. Do you know what this is? That's right, it's the Bible. The Bible is God's special book, and everything written in it is true and comes straight from God. This story we're going to hear today is all about a group of guys who loved Jesus. They were the apostles, and they told people about Jesus' love for them. But there were some people who did not like what they were doing, and they did not treat the apostles very kindly. Do you think God helped the apostles to be strong when the people were mean to them? Let's find out together. Put on your listening ears and your thinking caps, and let's watch our Bible story. Stories of the Bible. The Apostles and the High Council. These are the Apostles. Hello. They followed Jesus during his time on earth. See ya! After he went to heaven, Jesus sent the Holy Spirit to be their helper. Then the apostles spread the good news about Jesus everywhere they went. The apostles performed many miracles and healed the sick. They met regularly in the temple in Jerusalem and many came to believe in Jesus. Huh. All this made the Jewish high priest and his officials very jealous, so they arrested the apostles and put them in jail.
But an angel of the Lord came in the night Whoa. and opened the gate of the jail. The angel told them to go to the temple and tell people about Jesus. Got it. So at daybreak, the apostles went to the temple and told people about Jesus as the angel told them to. Meanwhile, the high priest and his officials called together a meeting of the high council. They sent the guards to bring the apostles out of jail, but when they went to the jail, they were gone. Wait, what? They returned to the council and reported that the men were gone. Guess what? Then someone arrived and announced that the men who were in jail were standing in the temple, teaching people. Go get them! The captain went with his temple guards and arrested the apostles. Come on, you. They brought them before the high council. The high priest said, We gave you strict orders never again to teach in this man's name. Um, yeah, but... But Peter and the apostles said, We must obey God rather than any human authority. They told Jesus' story that he was raised from the dead after they hung him on the cross and that now he was in heaven. They told him that Jesus did all these things so that people of Israel would turn to God and be forgiven for their sins. This made the high council furious and they decided to kill the apostles. But one Pharisee named Gamaliel stood up <clears throat> and ordered that the men be sent outside the council for a while. Then he warned his fellow Jewish leaders that killing the apostles might bring more trouble than good. He advised them to leave the apostles alone. Not a good point. The other Pharisees saw his point and accepted his advice. They called the apostles in and had them beat up, but they didn't kill them. They ordered them to never speak in the name of Jesus, and then they let them go. The apostles left the high council happy that God thought them worthy to suffer for preaching the name of Jesus. And every day in the temple and from house to house, they continued to teach and preach this message. Jesus is the Messiah. Wow, the high priest and the council were not so nice to the apostles at all. The apostles were even put in jail and hurt very badly. But they still continued to be happy and worship Jesus because God helped them by sending one of his angels to them. He also helped them to be brave so that they could continue to tell others the good news about Jesus. God will help us to be brave and strong, and we can trust God to keep his promise. You know what? That reminds me of our Bible verse, which I really want to show you guys, but turns out it's covered in bubbles. So grab some of your bubbles and let's pop them together. Okay, everybody, it's bubble popping time. A bubble on the left, a bubble on the right, bubble up high and bubble down low. There's a bubble, there's a bubble, there's a bubble, there's a bubble, wait, that's not a bubble, that's a bubble. Does everybody know what the bubble is? I don't, but I'm gonna find out when we pop the bubbles. Bubble popping party people, let's keep it going, yay! Pop them to the left, pop them to the right, pop them over here, and pop them by the side. That's it, all right, all right, keep going, yay! We're almost there, we got the pop. Exactly 23 and a half bubbles left. Okay, ready, go, one, two, three, keep going. That's a bubble, that's a bubble, that's a bubble, that's a bubble. Pop them over here, pop them over there, pop them on the ground, and pop them in the air. Pop them everywhere! Yay! Hey, you did it! Our Bible verse is Hebrews 6.19, and it says, This hope is a strong and trustworthy anchor for our souls. Now, that verse reminds us that our hope is strong. The apostles had hope in Jesus and trusted God even when things got hard and people were very unkind. They shared the truth about Jesus no matter what. God loves us so much too and He has so many promises for us, like the promise to make us strong. Well, I think we should sing a song to help us remember that verse. What do you think? 
This is the last time we're going to sing this together. So let's sing it really loud, all right? Let's stand up and sing Hebrews 619. This song is Hebrews 619, and you guys, this is how it goes. This hope is a strong and trustworthy anchor for our souls. We're gonna sing that all together, and I wanna hear you guys sing it out. Here we go. This hope is a strong, is a strong, trustworthy anchor for our souls anchor for our souls this hope is a strong and trustworthy anchor for our souls anchor for our souls sing hebrews 619 hebrews 619 all right it's time to dance let me see you guys all dancing can you jump up and down? And can you go real low? And then real high? And then let me see you spin around. All right, you guys, we're gonna sing that again. This hope, let me hear you sing it out. This hope is a strong, is a strong and trustworthy. Hebrews 6, 19. Hebrews 6, 19. All right, it's time to dance. Everyone jumping up and down. Let me see you moving those feet. And let's go ahead and spin around. And let's go the other way. All right, you guys, great job singing that song. Wow, that was so great. You can sit down now. Remember, that verse tells us that we can trust God. His promises are good and gives us hope. Well, friends, it's that time to watch the last episode of Super Scuppets. This story is going to help us learn more about God's promises. Are you ready to see if the Super Scuppets can defeat the bad Scuppet? I can't wait to find out. So let's put on our listening ears and our thinking caps and check out Super Scuppets. On a cold, dreary day in Scuppeton, Han was working in his lab when it... Hmm. Oh, I got it! When it exploded and gave everyone super power! Thus, the formation of the Super Scuppets, a group of heroes who are committed to fighting for truth, hope, and the Scuppeton way! These are the adventures of the Super Scuppets. The Bad Scuppets plan to change Scuppeton to Crumpeton was well underway. He made a happy zapper that would take all the happy out of Scuppeton. He was ready to take the final step in his meaty master plan. But the Super Scuppets are ready to stand up to the Bad Scuppet and protect Scuppeton! You can't stop this, Super Scuppets! Scuppeton is gonna be Gruppeton! And there's nothing you can do about it! Think again, Bad Scuppet! Bullies never win! They do today! Let's go. 
incompetent and for being a big mean bully. Ah, wake up, brothers! Wake up, wake up, wake up, wake up! I'm awake, I'm awake. Please, brother, stop shaking me. Brother, yeah, you're back! You did it. Yes, we did. And so the Super Scuppets destroyed the Happy Zapper and defeated the Bad Scuppet. Scuppetin was once again safe because of the strength of its heroes. Professor Orn! Hector Swift! The Electric Canary! Commander Jellybean! And... The Crimson Wonder! Aha! We are the Super Scuppets! I knew it! The Super Scuppets were able to defeat the Bad Scuppet. The Bad Scuppet was a bully, wasn't he? But Winston reminded us that bullies never win. Winston and the other Super Scuppets worked together as a team to make sure that the Bad Scuppet would not be able to turn Scuppetin into a grumpy tin. Because they worked together and helped each other, they were stronger than the Bad Scuppet. Now, to help us remember this story and God's promise to help us to be strong, Gus is going to teach us how to draw another scuppet from Winston's comic book story. He is going to teach us how to make the bad scuppet. So, make sure you have a paper and crayons, and let's color with Gus. Hey friends, Gus here! Are you ready to draw? Today we're drawing the bad scuppet. Yikes! He's a little scary to me, but I think I can do it. Okay, he wears a mask, so let's make that first. Do two long hills across the top. Next, draw a curve line down on each end of the mask. Just like that. Now make the bottom of the mask by making one little hill across. Next, go to the right side of the mask and make a little C on the side. And now do two little ovals on the side of the C. They kind of look like two flower petals coming off the side. <laughs> now we're gonna do his eyes. So go inside the mask and start in the middle here and do a little diagonal line up. Then go over here and do another diagonal line like this. Now make a U under each line of your diagonal lines. And do two little circles inside each eye and color them in. Let's go to the side of his mask here and make a diagonal line down and make little spiky lines down the side of his face. And keep going. Now for his mouth. He really doesn't smile, so I'm gonna make a grumpy smile. Just do some squiggly lines across here and a skinny line under it. Now since he's gray, I've got my gray marker here. So let's color his face. Ooh, he's a little scary. <laughs> Okay, let's finish this up fast. Next, let's color in his mask. It's black, so I got my black marker and we'll color it in like this. And there you go! We made the bad scuppet! <laughs> I'm gonna not look at it. <laughs> I'm glad we're done. <laughs> Thanks for coloring with me today. Bye! <laughs> Great job coloring, friends. When we were drawing the bad scuppet, I was thinking about how good will always win. Remember, God loves you and he wants to help us when we're sad or afraid. When we're unhappy and not feeling our best, God promises to make us strong, just like the super scuppets. We can always talk to God and pray to ask for his help to remember his promises because he loves you and he wants to hear from you. So let's talk to God right now by praying to him and thanking him for his promises. Let's put five fingers here, five fingers there, put them together for a prayer. Let's talk to God. Dear God, thank you so much for loving me. Thank you for giving me the strength when I feel weak. I pray that you will help me to be strong when I don't know what to do or how to do it. Thank you, Father, that you love us all very much. And in Jesus' name I pray, amen. Well, thanks so much for joining us for Church at Home. Don't forget that there is still so much fun for you to do at SaddlebackKids.com. Online, we have some fun crafts and activities that you can find with your parents' help to do at home to remember all of the things that we talked about today. Guys, I so loved being with you today. I hope that you have a great week and we'll see you next time.
Bye.